Here's a quick um, video on how I do the um, light pollution. You could call it the Dave method of putting your boxes on this on the um, image. I'll just open up an, an image, basic color image. There you go. Loads of rubbish all over it. This is how I do it. Simply go to tools, which I've already done by that's a bit. Remove light pollution. Current image, yes. I don't know why I suddenly started doing this, but it seems to work. So my little box, I tend to do little boxes and I think of um, little swords really. And heading towards the center, focus. Oops. Them got to be perfect, and they can overlap. It doesn't really make a lot of difference. So what I tend to do, so I'll do one, possibly two at a time. So I'll just do the one for a minute. Uh, I think I did it earlier, and it came up really red, scary red, in fact. Yeah. Whoa! Look at that. How scary is that? You think you're going to have to go over there, but I'm going to hold back for a few seconds and put another one over here. So really what I... I don't know why I suddenly doing this. I think it was because I was lazy and I didn't want to put crosses all over the place. Anyhow, this seems to work. It works for me. Anyway. Let's gradually build it up. Sometimes you get away with just one. They're like little swords. That's better. The keyboard, I'm holding the keyboard a bit wonky so that my squares aren't coming out very square. Persevere. Try to steer away from any nebulosity that's in the in the middle here. Patience is a virtue. Da, da, da. Excuse the slurp. It's breakfast, and I'm having a cup of tea. Slurp, not slur. There you go. That's a lot better. Um, sometimes. But these sort of shapes seem to work quite well. You don't need to go mad. In any case, you can process any any other colour out later so when you come to Photoshop or wherever you go. Just need a nice even balance on it. Almost there. There's nebulosity here. Join that one up. I can process any other colour out. I prefer to have some sort of colour in the background because when I go into Photoshop or something, I'll use. Um, the exterminator to um, grad gradation, gradient exterminator or some other method to um, modernise it anyway. Looks alright to me now. There you go. It's a little bit still floating around. But that's on 30%, so if I go down a bit, but not far off. That's one thing I didn't mention really. For light pollution, if you go up to 30%, it blows everything really brightly, so you can see what, what the devil you're doing anyway. You wouldn't normally stretch it like that. 
This is more like a super stretch. And save it to go into Photoshop. And I'll find Photoshop. And away you go. Then you can start processing it slowly. Go away, horrible thing. Slowly processing it. And something nice might happen. Let's say when you come to do, when you start processing, you'll start to um, tidy up the uh, the red gradients in them, or any colours that are there, just by neutralising it using gradient exterminator. For example, just quickly duplicate that layer. Gradient exterminator. What will we do? We take take out the nebulosity. Quickly invert it. Go to filter. Gradient exterminator. I'll just do a medium to low. Run and Control D. And we can tidy up any ex any nasties that I want. Quite like that actually. I might keep it, or do I? Depends what you want, doesn't it? Possibly keep it and just reduce it. Normal is 60, 66% is what I normally. It's the magic number, 66. You sort of picked up some of the nice dusty stuff. So there, something nice came out of this video. Happy days. So there's your patterns. Something along those lines eventually gives you the app. Uh, hope this helps. Cheers, guys. How do I switch this off? <laughs> Stop.